Well, she didn't 100% hold up. Oh, hey guys. How's it going today? So, you've probably seen the thumbnail by now, so you know what's going to happen. But you don't know what the outcome is, and I kind of do already. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't do it yet. But here's uh, here's the here's a little quick uh, review. So some of you guys probably have heard of Urban Survival Gear, uh, Kelvin, um, down in Texas. There makes these high quality, awesome pens. I happened to get the the copper one when it first came out. Um, I think this is either the very very first. Some of them came with the design on the clip itself. Mine, as you can see, has the design on the clip. So, love this pen. Carry this pen all the time. Uh, work, going out, doing everything. You know, it was my EDC pen, so I love this pen. Um, I love this pen so much when I was working with it, even more so after I accidentally ran it over with the forklift. Not once, not twice, but probably about four or five times before I realized I was running over my pen when I went to go and check something off and I couldn't find my pen. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if you guys can see. If it doesn't show up on the GoPro, then I'll film it with my phone where I can get a better video of it. But if you look real close, you could probably maybe see some scratches. I don't know if you can see or not. I don't know. I might have to, uh, I might have to uh, film it <coughs> with my uh, phone later on and insert the video. But either way, so this pen got ran over multiple times with a forklift uh, when I was outside unloading a truck. Um, and I gotta say, I, I was devastated when I, when I seen it sitting there on the ground when I was looking all over. I thought for sure this pen was trash, garbage. Um, but to my surprise, this pen, minus the, the few scratches from going over it on the asphalt there where the, the asphalt kind of dug into it, this thing held up like a champ. I mean, no problems still. I haven't used it in a while. No problems. Bolt action works amazing. The uh, clip hasn't been bent in. She uh, still writes phenomenally. Cool. So after that, <clears throat> I fell in love with this pen even more. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, I was scared to keep wearing or keep. EDC in this pen at work because I really didn't want to destroy it or a lot of problems I catch I catch all my clips um, with my pen my my razor blade because I carry a razor blade in my pocket that little one well, cheap plastic ones um, and I also carry my pocket knife I always catch these on shrink wrap when I'm wrapping up a pallet or unwrapping it or cutting a pallet open but I always catch them on shrink wrap so I was getting a little worried so I ended up uh, putting this off to the side and only carrying it when I wasn't going to be in the warehouse working and then I switched over to one of these guys this is the uh what is this the uh, the zebra you know just great little pen you know nice cheap pen um did the job but as you can see it's caught actually this is probably the second or third one now because I know I've ripped a lot of these off um with the shrink wrap you know it just bends these things out in the garbage but it was it was a good one so when I got rid of that one I switched over to the Olight from my work pen. Um, you know, whatever, got the flashlight on it. I carry an EDC flashlight, so that didn't matter. The fidget, having the bolt action on it, that was, you know, it's, it's always fun playing with that. That's one of the reasons why I like uh, Kelvin's pen. Um, so that was cool. The downside with the Olight pen was, to me, it's a little bit big. Um, not knocking Olight because I, I, I love all Olight products. I carried our <coughs> Olight uh, flashlights. But the only other downside I had about with this pen was uh, I just uh, I had to replace the ink way too much. 
I, I don't know why, I just think maybe, I don't know. It's just I was just replacing the ink on these quite often, I felt like. Um, so yeah, but I mean, it writes nice. You know, it's a great little pen to use. It was working for a while, but I've been following Calvin for, like I said, quite a while now. And then when I heard he was coming out with the new mini titanium version, what, three this is? Uh, 3.0, I had to get it. So he released the first batch and I missed it. As soon as, I don't know, I think I was on, it was either the same day or the day after his release, uh, but I missed the mini pin. Um, and I really wanted it. So, I set like, I don't know, four, five, six alarms. So when he released the new one, I didn't care where I was at, I didn't care what I was doing, I was gonna get one. And I got one. Actually, I got two because I knew I wanted to do something. Actually, I wanted to do two things with it. Um, and if I destroyed one of them, I, really would have been sad. So, with that said, here it is. Ho 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 ho, check that out. So now, there's the Titanium Mini. And I gotta say, I've been carrying this, I've been using it for a little over a week. I got it uh, about, a, about a week and a, <coughs> a week and a couple days ago. Um, I didn't want to make this video right away because I wanted to use it some. I wanted to get the feel for it compared to this one here. Uh, and I got to say, guys, this pen I loved. Like I said, beautiful pen, so smooth, and just everything about it was just awesome. But then I got this one. It's light. It's, it's a lot smoother in the bolt action here. The new, uh, the new design he's got. I don't know if you guys can see or not. Um, but this one here has got a little bit more sharper, sharper edge. The clip on it, I mean, I love it. It never had a problem with it, but some people were saying, you know, this, this clip's nicer to, to play with, you know. But, uh, I mean, it writes so smooth. The old Instagram, D period J period 708. But uh, yeah, I mean, guys, this, I, I use this pen, like I said, every day. I've been, you know, just writes so smooth, guys. Um, so if you're looking, if you're thinking about getting one, I highly recommend it. Obviously, it's not as detailed as the Grismo pens, but come on. You pay in a lot more money for their pens. And me personally, I can't afford it. So I just bought two of Kelvin's. So just so you guys know, this isn't sponsored by him. He didn't send me these. I paid for with my own money for these. And I really, really am praying that I'm not gonna destroy this pen. Um, that's why I bought two though, like I said, because if things go south, I need to have one. So, I guess what you guys been waiting to see. Shh. Um, well, here's the forklift. Show you guys. There's the forklift that we're going to use. This is the one that uh, ran over the last one. And uh, it's going to run over this one too. So, Kelvin, I'm putting your pen to the test now. I really hope this works because uh, I'm going to be a little sad if I crush it. But, hey, it is what it is. Best way to know if something's uh, durable is put it right to the test. So, uh, let's gently set it down so we don't scratch it. You know, because... It looks very pretty. So, I'm going to set it down. Oh man, 
I guess we'll go. Oh, I don't want to crush the. Uh, well. There it is. That's how we're going to do it. And so you guys see the tread. There is flat spots on here. It's not all open. So I just hope I don't bend my clip in. All right, guys. This is uh, this is it. Set you guys down. Let's see. Oh, she did get scratched up pretty good there. She's a little tight. Oh, man. Might have crushed it in there. Oh, she did bend in. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Oh, man. Well... She didn't 100% hold up. Good news and bad news, guys. Good news is, I mean, it still functions. Bad news is, I don't know if you can see, I crushed a clip. And as, I'm a little sad. But, I have my titanium pry bar from Vero that was specially CNC'd for me. Well, my buddy CNC'd it for himself and I bought it off of him. But, uh, I don't know. Looks pretty awesome to me. Anyway, so we'll use this fancy little guy here. Pry this up a little bit that I bent down. All right. Oh, like butter, baby. Right back to, look at that. Kelvin, you did an awesome job on these things, man. So yeah, I did bend it back up. As you can see, I'm sure it's not to uh, how he had it. Um, and you can see it did scratch it, obviously, but hey, it adds character. Now, the test. The test is gonna be well, it's still right. Once I bent it back out, guys, I mean, she's ready to rock and roll. This is, uh, this is awesome. Couple scratches. As you can see, there's some scratches for where the clip was touching and dragged on it. But, hey. I'm, I'm, no complaints here, man. Like I said, when it happened to this one, I was so sad because I thought I destroyed it, thought I broke it for good. Um, and actually, the funny thing is, with this one here, with this clip, I never, I mean, there's no scratch marks or nothing on here. It never touched. This never bent in. And as you can see, I rode over a few times. I didn't just do one little quick drive over. I did, the back tire is completely flat. So, you know, it is what it is, guys. Kelvin makes an awesome product i ha highly recommend you guys go and check it out all made in usa made in texas urban survival gear this is the titanium bolt action mini uh it, it just guys his stuff is awesome uh 
I follow him on Instagram. Like I said, check him out on Instagram, guys. He does uh, like daily updates and stuff on things that he's doing. It's pretty cool. So that's it, guys. I did it. I ran over my brand new pen, titanium pen, with the forklift to put it to the test so you guys will know if it'll actually handle an accidental EDC situation. Pass with flying colors. Like I said, minus the clip I had to bend back out a little bit, a couple little scratches on it, but that's what it, that, that's what's awesome about it. It adds a little bit of character to it, makes it, uh, makes it mine. So if I mix it up with someone else's, which could happen, I'll know it's mine because I ran it over with a forklift. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you got any questions or if you like seeing EDC stuff actually used and abused in a situation where it possibly could happen, see how it holds up, let me know. My stuff is in pocket, uh, you know, pocket princess stuff. I use my stuff. I abuse my stuff. I mean, my knife, it's just a bastion, uh, but this thing, I've used this as a pry bar. I mean, this thing <laughs> gets used for everything. But anyways, enough with that. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Kelvin. Uh, if you guys got any questions, let me know. All right. Catch you on the next one.